What's up, Odooers, and welcome back. For sales teams that spend a lot of time on the phone, Odoo's Voice Over IP feature, or VoIP for you acronym lovers, can streamline your call processes. VoIP provides several benefits for sales teams, including increased call efficiency, reduced costs, and in Odoo's case, it lets you navigate the Odoo database while you're talking on the phone. With VoIP, you can manage all of your calls within Odoo, eliminating the need for a separate smartphone and reducing potential distractions. VoIP's a digital phone system that uses your internet connection to make calls, eliminating the need for traditional phone lines and reducing costs. Setting up VoIP in Odoo is super simple. After that, you can manage all your greetings, voicemails, and even call queues directly within the system. Today, I'm here with the account executives to make some calls about selling tables. So let's get ready for our first call of the day with Paul Smith, a loyal customer of Stealthy Wood. Okay, so we're starting off here in the CRM app where I can see all of my sales opportunities and what stage they're in. If I look over here in the new stage, I can see that Paul Smith's opportunity has an activity scheduled for it and it looks like it's a phone call. So let's click into this opportunity and view the different ways we can make a phone call. First option, extremely simple. We could just hover over this phone number field right here and click the call button. We can also scroll down to the chatter and just click the phone number right here and that'll also call that phone number. And last but not least, we can click this VoIP icon here in the upper right screen of the navigation. And look at right here, we have our next activities tab and we have Paul Smith's opportunity right here as well. So if we want, we could then click into this. We have Paul's information right here and we could just give him a call by clicking this phone icon right here. So while the call with Paul is connected, I can still move around my Odoo database and have some handy tools through the VoIP widget right here. For example, I can check out his contact profile just by clicking this avatar icon here in the top middle area. And I have all of his contact information right here. And I could also see any internal notes that my colleagues have written about him. But let's focus back on our call. I've got some construction going on and I can hear a jackhammer starting. So I want to mute my microphone to keep Paul from hearing all of this racket. So it sounds like he's thinking about snagging some more tables. Luckily, I have an email template talking about our latest offers. And to send that over to him, all I have to do is click on the email icon right here in the VoIP widget. And then I can start adding a template by clicking these three dots right here. Then I'm going to click into the email template SS25 offerings on the table. And this looks super good, so I'm just going to click send. Now it's time to say goodbye to Paul, so I'm going to end the call. To do that, I'm just going to click into this VoIP widget once again. And all I have to do is click this red phone icon. Let's minimize the widget since we're done working with it. And after the call, I can check the chatter to confirm the call and log any notes if needed. Well, that was quick. Hopefully Paul's already decided what he wants to get. I know it's Paul because this VoIP widget pops up and has his phone number, name, as well as profile picture. Thank you, caller ID. So let's pick up this phone call now by clicking this green phone button. And Paul said he's checked out the email and he's ready to make a purchase. So to get that going, let's click into his opportunity and click the new quotation button. And he said he wants to pick up a new office chair. So we're going to add that to the quotation right now by clicking add a product in the product lines and simply typing office chair. And to send this over, we'll just click send by email and then send. Now this quotation is off. So before he makes this purchase, he said he wants to see if there are any other chairs in the office that need to be replaced. So let's set some time up to chat with him next week just to check in. And we can do that by clicking back into this VoIP widget. And here we can click this clock icon, which will allow us to set up a follow-up activity. So I'll click the clock. And in the activity type, I'm going to change this to call. And let's set this to a week from today. And this looks good, so we'll click Save. Chatting with Paul is always great, but all good things must come to an end, just like this call. 
So I'm going to click back into the VoIP widget and click this red call icon. And that's it for this video. Thanks for tagging along with me today and for the shadow on my calls with Paul. It's my first day as an AE or account executive. I think I nailed it. So thanks for watching.